For the time being, Neuralink, a competitor of Elon Musk's, is progressing more quickly. The human trials for Synchron's brain implant have started. With its implant, a person can operate a computer solely with their thoughts. And now, we have a lot to share with you about this wild new tech trend. But first, please like and subscribe to this channel, and then sit back and relax. For the time being, Neuralink, a competitor of Elon Musk's, is progressing more quickly. His implant enables one to operate a computer solely with the mind, an essential stage in the integration of human brain implants. In 2021, the Synchron firm received approval from the Food and Drug Administration FDA, of the United States to begin testing on Americans. Now that it has a clinical trial manager on board, it can begin testing the newest generation of brain-computer interfaces, BCIs. Six patients with severe paralysis will have the company's paperclip-sized Stentrode brain implant placed in their heads in New York and Pittsburgh. Stentrode will restore patients' capacity to carry out daily chores like texting, emailing, and online shopping by enabling them to operate digital gadgets with just their thoughts. The current clinical trial is the first time the implant will be evaluated in the U.S., although it has already been implanted and tested in patients in Australia. If effective, the Stentrode brain implant might be made available to the public and help people with paralysis reclaim their independence and quality of life. Compared to Elon Musk-owned Neuralink, Synchron seems to be developing more quickly. A scaffold built of a very flexible alloy netanol makes up the Stentrode. The electrodes that can record neural impulses in the brain are scattered throughout this scaffold. What Stentrode means? The Stentrode a motor neuroprosthesis designed to aid individuals with severe paralysis is their product. If it is successful, countless individuals with neurological illnesses, brain injury, paralysis, and other conditions could experience a new era of sensory re-emergion. Thus, Synchron has started testing its paperclip size brain implant in people. It will be inserted into a total of six severely paralyzed individuals in Pittsburgh and New York. The implant will restore patients' capacity to carry out daily activities like texting, emailing, and online shopping by enabling them to operate digital gadgets with just their thoughts. A milestone. If all goes according to plan and is a success, the Stentrode brain implant might be marketed as a medical device to help people who are paralyzed regain their freedom and quality of life. In addition to putting Synchron ahead of Miralink, which is better funded but is currently looking for a trial manager, the trial marks a significant accomplishment for Synchron. In contrast to Synchron, which has raised a total of $70 million, or roughly 66 million euros, Neuralink raised $205 million last year, or roughly 194 million euros. What's the function of this implant? Once implanted, Synchron's device travels to the brain via blood arteries. Neuralinks are surgically inserted into the skull. After entering the brain, Stentrode converts brain activity into signals that allow for a variety of tasks, including sending emails. As a result, the Stentrode is fed into the patient's vein until it reaches the brain rather than through the skull, which is significantly more invasive. The apparatus stretches to line the vessel wall and is comprised of a net-like material with 16 sensors connected. The motor cortex, the area of the brain responsible for producing movement impulses, is attached to that device, which then translates brain signals from that region into orders for a laptop computer. These findings represent a breakthrough in the field of BCI, brain-computer interaction, or brain-computer interface, according to Thomas Oxley, CEO, and co-founder of Synchron. It has been demonstrated that their endovascular BCI method is secure and enables patients to carry out typical tasks online without needing risky brain surgery. This is the culmination of years of study and technological development, and as they advance their technology, it has the potential to transform the lives of millions of patients worldwide who suffer from paralysis and other crippling neurological and brain conditions. Elon Musk's work on brain-computer interfaces is called Neuralink. With the use of micron-sized devices, Neuralink, Elon Musk's most recent business endeavor, aims to connect the human brain with a machine interface. In July 2016, Neuralink filed in California as a medical research firm, and Musk intends to mostly fund the project himself. 
Must's neural embedment technique, which involves implanting microscopic brain electrodes that may one day be able to upload and download thoughts, will enable it to function. In just four years, he claimed, neural cords will benefit those who have had catastrophic brain damage and everyone will have access to matrix-style technologies in eight to ten years. The mesh electrode sends signals to the device on your chest via a wire. According to Synchron, the chest unit is set up to continuously collect brain impulses and, when coupled with an external receiver, can transmit those data to a computer. In the end, this implies that the patient has power over anything displayed on the computer screen, like a cursor or on-screen keyboard. The patient would attempt to train their brain for direct control of the operating system because the brain's command center is now directly linked to the software. According to Synchron, clinical research is being carried out under the first IDE that the FDA has granted to a firm that is assessing a BCI that has been implanted permanently. BCI clinical studies on humans have previously received FDA approval and have been carried out in short-term experimental settings. However, the stentrode has already been implanted in humans before Synchron's clinical trial. Four patients in Synchron's recent switch clinical trial conducted in Australia and presented at the American Academy of Neurology last month showed in recent research that the technology is safe. After a year of participant monitoring, the researchers concluded that the device was safe, with no adverse events resulting in impairment or death. For all four patients, the implanted gadget remained in place and the blood artery it was inserted into remained open. Patients in the switch clinical experiment were able to utilize the stentrode system unsupervised at home after implantation to send text messages, make purchases online, and more. Before then, two Australian men with the degenerative neurological disease ALS had the stentrode implanted in them as part of a feasibility study that was reported in the Journal of Neurointerventional Surgery in 2020. While its rival Neuralink is still looking to hire a clinical trial director to oversee those trials, Synchron is the first company to start BCI technology human trials. Bloomberg claims that Neuralink has significantly superior funding. Neuralink reportedly raised $205 million last year, while Synchron raised a total of $70 million. A whole brain interface, or WBI, is essentially a network of small electrodes implanted in your brain that the startup Neuralink, which was launched in 2016, believes will enable humans to wirelessly communicate with the rest of the world. In contrast to the Synchron, which is implanted through a blood artery, the Neuralink device is placed inside the skull. Neuralink has already come under fire, in part because it conducted experiments using live animals. The company recently acknowledged that the monkeys died during the tests, but it refuted accusations of animal abuse. An animal rights organization alleges that Neuralink, founded by Elon Musk, tortured monkeys in its labs by inflicting rashes, self-mutilations, and brain hemorrhages. Through the conversion of brain signals into commands, BCIs can restore sensorimotor functions. BCIs are gadgets that open up channels of communication between a user's brain and an external device. Using BCIs, brain impulses are collected, analyzed, and converted into commands that are sent to output devices to perform the required activities. BCIs enable users to act on the world using brain impulses rather than muscle movements, but they are not mind-reading technologies. BCI's main objective is to replace or restore functional abilities for patients with neuromuscular disabilities, such as those caused by cerebral palsy, stroke, or spinal cord damage. People who are unable to talk and move their limbs may be able to communicate again or utilize assistive equipment to walk and manipulate objects, thanks to BCI technology. The gadget was confirmed to be safe in earlier trials where participants were monitored for a year and no adverse events resulted in impairment or death. We'll keep a close eye on both companies' development. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like, the subscription button, and the notification bell. To get notified when new videos are uploaded from this channel, please share your thoughts about Elon Musk's Neuralink rival. Synchron begins human trials of a brain implant in the comment section below. Thank you.